Well, some residents in Colombia say a TDOT proposal would not allow their loved ones to rest in peace. Under the plan, TDOT would acquire land currently belonging to the Jones Cemetery to make an interchange off Interstate 65 safer. News Channel 5's Andrea Klein-Thomas joins us from along the Bear Creek Pike there. How are people trying to fight this, Andrea? Well, Rory, they started a petition. The whole argument is, is that the cemetery has been around since the late 1800s. That's before the interstate. That's before the gas stations. And say they say that should be taken into consideration. It's a sacred place, you know, a hallowed ground. John Waldron comes to the Jones Cemetery often to pay his respects. That's, that's my dad and my mother. One day. And we own the next eight, eight lots here. Waldron hopes this too will be his final resting place. Well, we have between 450 and 500 uh, graves here. And as a member of our board, I feel that it's our responsibility to try to protect it as much as possible. Protecting the property that dates back to the late 1800s is becoming more difficult as the area along Bear Creek Pike continues to grow. First with the interstate, then gas stations, and a truck stop. Everything's growing up, and we're tired of scooting over. I'm shocked somebody hasn't got hurt yet. As a result of the growth, TDOT wants to widen Bear Creek Pike to improve the traffic flow and make merging onto Interstate 65 much safer, especially for semis. I mean, the, the ramp goes around and to pull in the 70 mile an hour traffic to merge into it doing 35 miles an hour. You may be doing 30 at the most. They're wanting to come to straighten the exit up and then bring a new ramp right up through this field. It's going to come within 15 feet of this grave right here. That's why Waldrum is joining others to start a petition. It's, it's disrespectful to start with. They already have 200 signatures asking TDOT to find another way to make improvements. We got seniority. <laughs> we're, here, we're here in the late 1800s. We, we, that should count for something, but it doesn't seem to. Another way that allows their loved ones to rest in peace. And TDOT is proposing this in the first place, again, for safety, because there have, in fact, been accidents on Bear Creek Pike. In fact, Waldrum has been in an accident along Bear Creek Pike, but still him and other people that support the cemetery, that are trying to preserve the cemetery, say it should not even be a part of the plans. Reporting live in Columbia, I'm Andrea Klein-Thomas, News Channel 5 HD.